Hey y'all, howdy from Texas. I can't tell you how badly that I wish uh, that I was in Sierra Vista tonight. Uh, it's Tuesday night and I'm recording this video from my office. I am getting ready to drive to St. Louis for the National Youth Pastors Conference, which uh, by the way, next year, Zach, you and I are going to go do that together. Um, uh, but anyway, I, I could not be in Sierra Vista tonight. I wish so badly that I could. Um, but I'm honored that Pastor Mark has given me the opportunity to to address not only Zach, really all three of you guys. Um, Davin, I am... Uh, man, it was so much fun getting to be a part of, of you and your family's life as your kids were growing up in the student ministry. And I watched uh, how well you loved them and served them through thick and thin, good days and bad days. And uh, man, that's what being a deacon is all about, loving the church and serving her well on her good days and on her bad days. And so I'm thrilled that the church has called you to serve in this way, and I know you're going to do a fabulous job, so I'm praying for you, brother. Uh, Jody, uh, I am, uh, gosh, I, 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 love, I love how God is using you and how God continues to grow uh, this desire for you to pastor in your heart, and you're going to be a fabulous pastor. And I can't wait for the day when you're a pastor at Village Meadows. Maybe I shouldn't have said that out loud, although I do believe that's going to happen and, and, and long to see that day. But uh, to you and Michelle, man, I, I love y'all. Keep up the great work and um, uh, get you to come preach for me sometime soon. But Zach, um, I mostly wanted to talk to you this evening. I am so, so, so proud of you, and I love you so much. <sighs> And I am. I'm sad I'm not there. <laughs> you are my brother. And I'm so grateful for you. I'm so thankful for the way that you have loved the students that I have loved uh, so well and, and even beyond. And, and, and I can't wait to hear more about what's happening over there. I was thinking about um, biblical characters that we compare one another to. and um, I was thinking about Elijah and Elisha. And that one seemed a little bit appropriate because Elijah, of course, came first. And uh, and then God snapped him up and, and took him to heaven. And that's essentially what he did with me. He snapped me up and took me to Texas. It's basically the same thing. Um, but that, that, that analogy doesn't quite work. And then I thought about um, David and Jonathan because we're pretty good buddies. But your dad's never thrown a spear at me, so that one didn't work. And then I thought about Paul and Silas. Um, but that one doesn't work because you and I have never been in jail together, at, at least not yet. And we've never been beaten up together, at, at least not yet. And, uh, and so that one doesn't work. But um, in all seriousness, a, a couple does come to mind that I think is really appropriate. And that's Paul and his relationship with Aquila and Priscilla. I don't know how much you know about them, but their story really is fascinating. Priscilla and Aquila were doing ministry in Rome when Claudius uh, demanded that they and all other Jews leave Rome. And so they did, and they made their way to Corinth to continue to do ministry there, and it just happened to be the time frame when Paul also came to Corinth. Uh, Aquila and Priscilla were tent makers, and so that's how the three of them met, and they just immediately, their hearts were bonded, and they went to work together for Jesus. And, and man, that's our story. Uh, when you and Victoria came to Sierra Vista, you came because of work. Uh, Victoria had an incredible job. And, uh, and you were a youth pastor by trade, and so we immediately hit it off, and we immediately got to work together. And I thank God for those days. Uh, they were so encouraging to my soul. I had so much fun. And we didn't even know at the time what God was doing, but I'm so grateful that he brought you when you did. And there is a um, few stories that I think are cooler uh, that I get to tell than the one at the fact that, that one of my best buddies got to take over for me after I left this church that I love dearly, which is exactly what Paul did with Priscilla and Quilla. He left them to go do other ministry, and he left them in charge of this church. At the time, it was Ephesus that he loved so very much. And, and that's what we got to do. And so, uh, buddy, you keep serving Jesus faithfully. Uh, keep loving those students faithfully. Keep pointing them to Christ and I know you're going to do all those things and so much more. And I'm going to cheer for you. And I'm going to keep thumping that map that I've been telling you about for you. And and um, I don't know, man. Keep it up. 
um, students, and I, and I hope there are a lot of you there tonight, because uh, this is a day that you need to rejoice with Zach, but love him well, like you did for Becca and I. Um, they are God's gift to you, truly, and uh, they're going to lead you well. Uh, but really, Village Meadows, um, I will say to you, and, and my plea is, is, is for you to love them even better than you loved Becca and I. And y'all loved us incredibly well, and I'm so grateful for that. Um, we always worked really, really hard to not just serve the student ministry. We, we wanted to serve the church as a whole, and I, I guarantee you that's Zach and Victoria's heart. And so love them and bless them and provide for them and then watch the benefits that you will reap from that and so much more. Um, y'all keep taking care of each other. Uh, guys, I love you. Again, I wish I were there tonight. I don't know when we will be back in the high desert. Uh, but in the meantime, y'all keep taking care of Lovey and Pops for us too. But we do. We love y'all, and we'll see you down the road. Bye.